there's things that Satan is sitting back and he knows that are going to affect us, okay? He knows that there are things that are going to slow us down, but he also knows that there are things that he's going to put at us that are just going to slow us down, but eventually we're going to comfort them, okay? But the whole plot of the plan is to get us off course, to slow us down from the way and the will of God. And so what does he throw at us? He throws at us the little demons, confusion, fear, uh, anger. He throws those things at us to give us a chance to, for us to focus on that instead of focusing on the real issue. And that's where we come when we have small things in our life that we allow to become big obstacles. You know, just because for one of the things that I was thinking about this morning has to do with the My Shama website. You know, I've been working on it and really concentrating on it for the last week, even though it's been something God's been telling me to do for years. I've been concentrating and going forth and saying, okay, God, I'm going to run with this like you demanded me to do. However, you know, then even last night I was looking back and I was like, well, this doesn't quite look like I wanted to look and this doesn't look like I wanted to look and I don't know if I'm getting the feel across of how I want it to be and all of this and then I had to stop myself well let me rephrase it the Holy Spirit had to stop me and had me to have to look and remember what truly was important what I truly was doing was trying to get out what God had told me to do to get out his word and everything is not going to be perfect all the time and I'm one of those per people, I'm raising my hand, I'm one of those people who are always trying to sometimes, trying to search out for perfection. You know, I realize that nothing is perfect but God, but I still try to search it out. And I know that I hinder myself a lot by trying to wait for things to become perfect to move in it. So what God is doing is telling me, and he started telling me this a couple years ago, as he let me know, is that things that I'm waiting on for the perfection of them, could have moved and changed lives in the present while I was getting and growing to where it needed to be. So I just ask you, as I'm, as I'm learning myself, don't wait on that perfect moment to step into what God is calling you forth to do. Don't wait for that perfect moment to tell someone that you love them. Don't wait for that perfect moment to share with someone how much they have, have, have uh, put something in your life. Don't wait for the perfect moment, because what if that perfect moment never comes? Go ahead and step out in what you consider the imperfect moment. Step out and let God make it perfect. Live your life with hope. Don't just focus on the negativity of it all. Live your life with purpose, because you have it. God has given each one of us a hope and a purpose. For us to be able to go forth and make a difference in this world. So I ask you this day, live with purpose, live with hope. Go forth in what you're called to do. I admonish you, God admonish you, now you admonish yourself. In Jesus' name, thank you and I'll see you next time.